Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. Nothing real special today, just a ride to work and a bit of rambling. Because I've had a lot of people coming to the showroom lately and uh, ask me for city bikes. And I keep suggesting them scooters, they should buy scooters and... And uh, they look at me funny because they don't understand why they should buy a scooter. Now, some people in other parts of the world will say that in Europe scooters are cool. Well, actually, they're not. They're not a lot of people view scooters as, as cool. They're viewed as a tool, as somebody who can't ride or can't afford a motorcycle would ride. And that is simply just not how they should be viewed. Yes, they are a tool, but oh my God, are they so practical and so efficient at uh, city riding. And that's why I choose to ride one. And maybe today uh, I can show exactly what I mean and why I chose a scooter as my only two-wheel vehicle for the moment. And why I will keep having a scooter in my life no matter what other kinds of bikes I buy or sell or anything a scooter will, will always be present and I've said this a lot of times and I've told myself never ever ever sell the scooter if I'm selling the scooter it means I'm done with two wheels the scooter is the last one to ever leave because bikes are fun okay you can ride bikes they're fun they're weekend toys you can go on trips they're entertaining they're exciting they're exhilarating but this thing gets me to work every single day and the difference with taking this to work or taking my car to work would be somewhere around half an hour each way every single day so i am winning or i am gaining an hour every single day just by riding this to work and not driving my car and that's what i don't get about people because people buy city motorcycles or they have a big bike and they buy a small bike to use in the city but then end up just using it when the weather is nice outside i use this all through the year and i use it all through the year because a scooter is very very easy to make rideable during the winter time you can get some proper tires for scooters like the michelin city grip 2 is a proper all season tire that works well even in cold weather even in rain wet roads dry roads whatever you name it it works very very well and it's very safe plus you can get modern modern scooters with abs so when the road surface is slippery you have abs to help you out plus they're light they're much lighter than bikes even lighter than city bikes so they don't need a lot of stopping power plus they're very very easy to maneuver on tight city streets if you live in a city like i do in bucharest which is an european city which has awful traffic and very tight streets one of these small scooters is a godsend and then the last part Hey, baby. Yeah, okay. and then the last part is the practicality i mean i have a top box on the back i have underseat storage i have a flat floor here while you ride through the city you have to run errands you just have to run errands don't tell me you don't even if you say oh i'm gonna just ride into work and back don't worry every single time you will be back you will come back from work your wife will probably tell you hey honey pick up some bread pick up some food pick up a juice pick up a beer pick up something there's always something to pick up and that's why you need storage that's why you're gonna start using if you buy a city bike you're not gonna use it every day single day because you're gonna think okay today i'm gonna take the car because when i get off work i have to pick up this pick up that pick up this well, with a scooter you can take it and you can also do all of your chores, all of your errands. You can pick up whatever you need to pick up. And uh, one more thing about the winterizing part. I know I'm rambling all over the place now. Uh, scooters is very easy to put a big windscreen, some heated grips and a leg cover on. 
so that uh, you don't freeze to death in the winter you're actually pretty pretty comfortable and now that we're gonna get into the thick of things you're gonna see exactly what I mean about easy in traffic green punch it because that was the easy part on the way to my work now we're gonna get into the thick of it and this is why I ride such a small little city scooter because for stuff like this it's much better than any motorcycle could possibly be I mean I'm sorry the the way that a CVT transmission just works just puts the power down every every single second that you want you're always in the perfect gear you're always it's always ready to punch it and just make mincemeat of the traffic and I think I know a thing or two about traffic yep that's what it's all about if you properly want to get around the city quickly I know some people can shift motorcycles quickly they can use the clutch better than I can because I have less experience with motorcycles than I do with scooters but a scooter makes life just so easy every single time you need power it's there it's always ready to go it's always eager it's always ready to punch it see a gap between cars it's ready go for it plus with the light weight of a city scooter it's very easy to maneuver between cars just like this in tight tight spaces okay not that tight but you get the idea tight spaces now if only they moved a little just punch it the smallest of gaps as soon as you get it it's always there the power is there it's ready to go that's what I love about such a small little scooter now granted this 200 is a little bit more torquey but I'm also a bit of a heavier guy so the torque really helps me out because of the weight but uh, even a 125 would have been just as good and actually a little bit better because the 125 is a little bit more fuel efficient this thing is it's about half a liter per hundred kilometers more than the 125 so the 125 liquid cooled ST would have been uh, just a little bit better for the city I bought the 200 honestly because I got a great deal on it and I really wanted to see how the 200 ran we have we have 125s a lot in the showroom 200s they're just we bring them in just on order and uh, this one was brought in as an extra one and uh, I got a great deal on it let's be honest I just got a great deal on it. I said yeah why not I was already looking to switch from my old 50 cc ST to this current second generation ST and uh, I didn't want a 50 cc so I had the choice between 125 and 200 the 200 came up at a great price so I just pulled the trigger and went for it and never looked back but yes the 125 is a lot more fuel efficient than this old school two valve 169 air cooled engine but I still love it and this is what I'm trying to show just how good something as small as this is in the city yes bikes are fun yes I know I know get yourself a big bike a 600 a 700 a, a leader bike whatever you want a big adventure bike a GS whatever you want but for the city for the urban jungle nothing beats something like the ST I mean I'm just destroying traffic I'm it's it's murder honestly it's murder I've had people on motorcycles trying to keep up with me through the traffic no chance in hell honestly no chance in hell if you got anything bigger than a Honda monkey there's no chance you're keeping up with me through traffic I don't care what engine you have on your bike you could have 100 200 horsepower you name it through the city it's it's not even a contest I mean just a little bit of 
a little bit of space and that's all you need to get through makes mincemeat absolute mincemeat and it gets me to work in 15 minutes that's what i always liked about it no more hour-long commutes to work nope 15 minutes that's all you need i get to work and i get back home half an hour is my total commute time that's just awesome i did take my car once to work because I, because I had to do my yearly inspection on it and uh, it took me about an hour to get to work this takes me between 15 and 20 minutes that took me an hour and I said okay no more never again nah -uh. I don't want to lose 40 minutes of my life every morning and another 40 minutes every evening on the way back no way sorry so even if it's raining or it's very cold i just put on an extra layer and just ride to work that's why i've prepped this as best as best as i could for winter with big screen heated grips whatever i could find so i could ride it all all year long and like i said that's the easy part about scooters you can make them rideable in the winter with very, very little investment. It's very easy to make them rideable in the winter so you can actually be comfortable and you can continue saving money on fuel and saving time. That's one thing, people don't put a price on time. How much is time worth? How much is an hour and a half of your life every single day worth? Isn't it worth anything? Wouldn't you want an extra hour and a half every single day? Why drive a car to work? Why ride a huge motorcycle that you can only ride on the weekends? Get something like this, a small 125cc city scooter. Believe me, it will change your life. The way you view your city, especially if you live in a congested city, the way you view your city, you, it will change your life. It will change the way you feel about your city. I used to hate Bucharest before I got on a scooter because every time I wanted to go anywhere, it took hours and hours. Now, it's a wonderful city. I can get anywhere in 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. It absolutely changed my life. That's a... That's, that's what I'm always trying to tell people. That's a... That's what I'm always trying to tell people. Get a scooter. Get a small city scooter. Yes, have your bike. Have your big bike, small bike, sport bike, naked bike, city bike, off-road bike, whatever bike you want. But get something like, look, another ST, another Symphony, another ST. See, here we get it. Because at the dealership we ride everything. We get it. We know what works best. And believe me, something the size of this Symphony ST works the best for the city. But that's about it, everyone. So at the, at the showroom, and I think it was like 15 minutes, maximum 20. Nine kilometers commute through the city traffic on the little ST, little Donny. Every single day he's working every single day he's shuffling but that has been it everyone thank you so very much for watching and until the next one take care out there and ride safe goodbye <laughs>